I'm Yuki Washington with your evening digital news brief for Wednesday, May 12, 2021. Colonial Pipeline restarted operations this afternoon following a six day shutdown caused by a ransomware attack. It's going to take several days, though, for service to return to normal. Drivers are being asked not to panic and rush out to fill up. AAA expects to see prices at the pump to go up by as much as six cents in our area because of that pipeline shutdown. States of emergency are now in effect in four states in the aftermath of the pipeline cyber attack. Some stations in Virginia, North Carolina, Georgia, and Florida have run out of gas as drivers make a run to the pumps. Colonial says it will move as much gasoline, diesel, and jet fuel through the pipeline as is safely possible until all is back to normal. Four people are shot and one person killed when gunfire erupted in southwest Philadelphia. The shooting happened just after 4 o'clock on the 5500 block of King Sessing Avenue. Police tell us a 20 year old died after he was shot 11 times. Three other men were also shot. One of them is in critical condition. So far, there's no motive or arrest. The Philadelphia Parking Authority today touted the success of speed cameras on Roosevelt Boulevard. The PPA installed cameras at eight locations on the boulevard to reduce speeding. They went active on June 1st of last year with fines imposed beginning on August 1st for any vehicle traveling 11 miles per hour over the speed limit. Remember, you can always get the latest on these stories and more right here at CBSPhilly.com. That is the latest for the evening digital news brief. I'm Yuki Washington.